check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Hello there, grade 10 learners! I guess you are all excited for our today's discussion, right? Hindi na natin patatagilin pa. Kaya naman, tumuto ka na dito sa English teacher ni Juan. The target most essential learning competency for this video is... Deliver a prepared or impromptu talk on an issue, employing the techniques in public speaking. Naranasan mo na bang mag-speech sa harap ng maraming tao? Or baka maisip mo pa lang kinakabahan ka na agad? Don't worry, siguradong hindi ka nag-iisa. Maraming tao talaga ang may stage fright. Because in reality, it usually takes a lot of experience before one can render talks or deliver speeches without feeling uncomfortable and conscious about a lot of things. This lesson will focus on understanding the techniques which may be employed in various forms of public speaking. Public speaking usually involves having to deliver or communicate information in front of a live audience. It is usually done in a formal setting or as part of a formal event. Public speaking conveys purposeful information which aims to inform, influence, or entertain a large group of audience. The most common forms of public speaking include delivering a prepared speech and an impromptu speech. Ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba ng prepared at impromptu speech? In a prepared speech, the speaker is given the topic beforehand. He has time to research about the topic and is able to rehearse or practice prior to delivering the speech. Speaking before thousands of graduating students or addressing a crowd during a business conference usually falls under this category. It must be made clear, however, that a prepared speech does not necessarily equate to a memorized speech. Delivering a fully memorized speech is just one example of a prepared speech. It may also include such forms as extemporaneous speech where the speaker is given some time to prepare before the delivery and the use of a prepared copy which serves as a reference for delivering the speech. An impromptu speech, on the other hand, is one where the speaker is given with little or no time to prepare. This type of speaking occurs during ambush interview and other gatherings where people are asked to deliver a speech on the spur of the moment. Delivering an impromptu speech seems a challenging task since it means speaking about a specific issue or topic without having the chance to research about it or even make an outline as guide. When delivering this type of speech, one must be able to fully gather his or her thoughts, focus on the issue or topic at hand, and maintain composure. Before we proceed, let's accomplish first this activity. You are to identify whether a prepared or an impromptu speech is usually used in the given examples or situations. Ready ka na ba? Let's begin! Number 1. You were invited to speak before a commencement ceremony. Two, you were asked to speak in an ambush interview. Three, 
3. You were assigned to give a talk before a group of students. Four, you were chosen to represent the school in an oratorical contest. Number five, you were called by the host to deliver a message during a wedding ceremony. Number 6. You were invited to give a reflection for the upcoming Holy Week Mass. Seven, a youth group requested you to serve as a resource person. Eight, while attending a meeting, you were unexpectedly requested to share your experiences in your job. Nine, you were assigned by your boss to present the company's accomplishments in a conference. Ten, you were asked to share your knowledge about a topic on the spot. You did a great job! Now, as a continuation, I'll be sharing with you some techniques which may work best when speaking before a large audience and tips that may help you become a good public speaker. 1. Know your purpose Being sure on the purpose of your speech is synonymous to knowing where to focus your discussion. It may be as basic as to inform, persuade, or inspire. If you know the purpose of your speech from the very beginning, lahat ng ideas na sasabihin mo is just focused on the topic. Hindi magiging paligoy-ligoy at nakakalito. Hindi makakonfuse ang audience mo kung ano talaga ang main point ng speech mo. 2. Be familiar with your topic. The best way to do this is to research. When you are sure of every piece of information you are presenting, you will be more confident. This is also something that your audience will usually notice and feel. Ramdam ng nakikinig sa'yo kung confident ka ba o hindi. Ramdam nila kung sigurado ka ba sa sinasabi mo o hindi. And the solution? Mag-research ka. Mag-research ka about the topic especially if you were assigned with a topic which you are not really familiar with. 3. Know your audience. It is essential to be sure of the kind of people you will be speaking to. Knowing your audience will help you plan the appropriate content, language, and techniques to use. You cannot address a group of high school students the way you would address a crowd of professionals. You have to make adjustments depende sa kung sino o anong klase ng audience ang makikinig sa'yo. 4. Plan ahead of time. Cramming will reflect in the way you speak and behave in front of an audience. This is something any speaker would not want to happen. Kaya dapat ay nagpaplano ka ahead of time in case you were assigned to speak in front of an audience. Remember that planning everything is a key to a successful speaking engagement. 5. Use nonverbal cues. The right amount of gestures at the right time are key elements of public speaking 
as these movements help convey ideas more clearly. There is, however, danger in overusing these gestures as they can become distracting. Kaya huwag naman maging over sa paggamit ng hand gestures and body movements. Also, establishing eye contact with the audience works well in maintaining confidence and establishing sincerity. You have to look at your audience eye to eye. That way, your audience can feel the connection with you. 6. Remain calm. Don't show signs of nervousness. Maintain your composure. The weeks of planning and preparation may be put to waste if you keep on showing unnecessary movements as a sign of nervousness. Taking deep breaths and having a focused mindset can do the magic of staying relaxed. Ang gawin mo, huminga ka ng malalim and stay focused. Practice Practice is a major component of planning. Through constant practice, one may be able to identify areas that can be improved. Keep in mind that, to be a good and compelling speaker takes a lot of practice and experience. 8. Watch your words. One's choice of words greatly affects how the audience perceives the speech. One must be careful enough not to use words that might put his or her reliability and reputation into jeopardy. 9. Speak with clarity. One should observe proper pronunciation, stress, intonation, juncture, diction, tone, and pacing when delivering a speech. These are just few of the many elements that should work together to ensure that the ideas in the speech are clearly conveyed. This, however, is not something one can learn overnight. Consistent practice is likewise necessary. 10. Know the essential etiquettes. As a public speaker, one should know the different do's and don'ts when speaking before an audience. 11. Use visuals when necessary. When possible and appropriate, visuals like PowerPoint slides can help support the speech being delivered. But be sure that these visual aids will not overpower the speech or distract the audience. 12. Dress comfortably but appropriately. Dress in a way that exudes respect and formality. If you want to feel comfortable while speaking, make yourself comfortable first with what you wear. And lastly, be open to questions and comments. Always bear in mind that you cannot please everybody. It is essential to be open to questions, comments, and even criticisms. These things can be used as considerations on how you can improve or continuously refine your craft as a public speaker. These are just some of the techniques and tips you may apply when delivering a speech. As parting words, People engaged in public speaking can get a lot of advantages like sharp critical thinking skills, confidence when dealing with people, and fluency in verbal and nonverbal communication. So did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, Huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed! See ya!